folks, Landon Schwartz here, senior sous chef at the Pomeroy Kananaskis Mountain Lodge. Been here since just the end of November 2020 and through 2021. I am in charge of running Forte Restaurant as well as the Blacktail Lounge. Today we're going to be demoing a few recipes for you. First and foremost, we're going to get the day started off right with a little Sunday morning scramble. So it's going to be composed of sourdough toast, a couple of eggs, some fresh sprouts, herbs, and a little avocado and cheese. So the whole idea here is to allow us to make a nice simple breakfast that's nourishing, get us started. It's the most important meal of the day. This is what I call a one pan wonder. Not only is it quick and efficient, but it's going to allow you to have fewer dishes. So it's essentially scrambled eggs. We're going to take two whole eggs and we're going to want to give them a nice little whip. So you can use a simple fork, you can use a small whisk. I like to use my tweezers because they dig and they whip at the same time. When you're doing this motion, you kind of want to go not just around in a circle, but up and down at the same time. What you're trying to do is actually agitate the whites and activate the proteins a little bit more. At this point, I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Continue to mix. You can set that aside for later. Now in the kitchen, we like to have everything ready to go. We like to call it our mise en place or everything in its place. So because this is such a quick and easy one, you're gonna to wanna to have a plate ready to go so that when everything's ready, you have somewhere to put it all. So we're gonna start by having our pan on sort of medium to high heat, put a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. And we're gonna start our bread right in there. Next, we're gonna make our avocado spread. So be very careful with this. You can do it on a cutting board. I like to do it like this, just I have a little bit more control with my knife. So we're only gonna use half an avocado today. So what I would suggest is you take that and you wrap it, leave the pit in. It's gonna help keep the avocado from going brown. Take a spoon, scoop it. At this point, we're gonna take olive oil, about half a tablespoon, salt, a little bit of hot sauce, just a little bit of flavor, a couple dashes, and a spot of lemon juice. This helps keep the avocado from going brown. And then we're gonna mash it up. So you want it a little bit chunky, a little bit smooth, almost the consistency of, of a nice chunky guacamole. At this point, we're gonna flip our bread. We're looking for a nice brown color on that. So it's starting to caramelize a little bit and it's starting to get crisp up, much like when you put it in a toaster. So the idea is you want this a little bit crispy on the outside, but you still want it nice and soft in the middle. Take that off, put it right on our plate. At this point, I would add oil back into the pan. Again, about another tablespoon. While we wait, we can spread our avocado on our toast. Coast to coast. The whole thing covered. That's when we add our eggs. So you should hear a light sizzle. That's how you know your eggs, your pans are and it's nice and hot and your eggs are gonna cook nice and quick. I like to let the eggs cook a little bit before I start moving them around. That's just a personal preference. If you're looking for a creamier scrambled egg, you stir immediately. If you're looking for a drier one, you wait a little bit longer. So as I start to see it cooking along the outside, that's what I'm gonna start mixing. And at this point, I'm gonna turn the heat off. We have enough heat in our pan to continue cooking the eggs. We add a pinch of herbs. Right on top of the toast. It's a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan on top. And to finish it off, with some nice fresh sprouts. And there you have it folks, Sunday morning scramble. Okay folks, stay tuned at the Bare Necessities for more information regarding these meal kits. All these ingredients that we're demoing today will be part of your meal kits moving forward. What I want you to take from these videos and from this program is that I know cooking for yourself at home can be a little bit intimidating sometimes, especially when you're presented with limited space and limited resources. But what we've done for you here today is we've crafted these recipes so that cooking can be a little bit more fun. You can grab a hold of your own situation and you can cook yourself something delicious and something easy and what I call one pan wonders. There's something very rewarding about being able to cook for yourself and nourish yourself properly. It's very easy to go down the street and go to Tim Hortons, but I would argue that this is almost easier. Enjoy.